Hi, me again. So today I wanted to switch things up a little bit and instead of showing you the things that I buy and resell, I wanted to show you some of my, what I like to call bad buys. Things that I never should have brought in the first place. Just, just bad all around, right? So everything that I'm gonna show you here um, I regret buying, basically, in a nutshell. And the reason I regret buying it is because it no one has ever showed interest in any of this stuff, for the most part. So generally, I don't mind holding on to things. I don't expect things to sell overnight. I'm not selling designer items. These are, these are just basic, everyday mall brands, right? There's a lot of competition. So I know that I'm going to hold on to some of these things for a while. What differentiates these items that I'm going to show you is that they have usually, in most of these cases, have been posted on eBay and probably Poshmark for at least a year with absolutely no interest, okay? And when I say no interest, I mean, there are things that you list, right? And they get some attention, you know, you might have a few people who like the item on eBay or Poshmark. You know, you might get some lowball offers, but nobody actually buys it. Um, you may have somebody who asks a question about it. Just anything, any type of interest or um, paying attention to your item. A lot of these things I'm going to show you have been listed for a year without a single like, without a single offer, without a single question. And, and these are things that I have like delisted them and then put them back on i've lowered the price i've changed strategies i've worked on titles i've changed pictures and still nothing they just don't want it that's fine and then some of these other items are just going to be things that had damage that i didn't really notice in the beginning either way i regret buying them what am i going to do with these things well i am on a um a facebook group where you can like it's like a thrift store thing and you can sell your items for cheap so some of these things if i feel like it i may just just post them on there and try to get a dollar or two for them try to get my money back and some of them I'm just going to end up donating these are Ivanka Trump shoes now Ivanka Trump nothing wrong there um I just don't like the condition of them and I feel like this is an older style this is an older style of shoe um it has damage they're a little bit dirty the heels are just not uh, just just dirty um, there's some fraying on the leather, just too many issues. Now, if these were in perfect condition, you would only expect to get about $20 for them. So I'm not going to list these if they're not, well, correction, I had these listed, but I should have never listed them and I never should have brought them because I just feel like, um, being able to make a profit on this is going to be very difficult because I'm going to have to lower the price because they're not in excellent condition and they're not a high value item to begin with. Dan skin blue these are just some basic pull on stretchy pants they do have the tags on them now normally this is like a walmart brand i would only expect to get about 12 dollars for these to begin with but then i noticed that there is some damage of some sort here there's something up with the stitching there so that's going to lower the value of these even more and i just don't want to be bothered like if, if i'm only going to be able to get like seven or eight bucks i generally will not list anything that i can get less than 10 bucks for just not worth it to me this is a basic old navy tank. It does have the tags on it. And yet somehow it still manages to have spots on it. There's some sort of like stains or something on it. Um, I just don't want to be bothered with this one. So this one, I actually, the last two that I just showed you, I never actually listed them. So there's no telling if they would get interest or not. I just don't want to be bothered. I mean, it's old navy, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I would normally post this for like 10 or 12 bucks, but if it has spots on it, like I can't do anything with you. Now these next three, these next few ones were never listed, um, but I'm trying to understand why I brought them in the first place. Um, this was back when I used to buy Junior's brands and I don't buy Junior's anymore. This is just, to me, this is just not worth my particular time. It's a basic gray shirt. It's a love fire. It's a size small, size small is hard to sell anyway. Um, and it's just, it's not a good brand. I don't think I could get more than maybe eight or nine bucks for that. Junior's just doesn't sell for me. So I'm just going to try to sell it and see if I can get my money back. This brand is so S-O. It used to be sold in Kohl's. I don't know if it's still sold in Kohl's. It does have the tags. Now, if your business model is different than mine and you're okay selling something for like five or six bucks, then yeah, you would pick something like this up because it does have the tags. 
but to me this is a juniors brand and i just have never i just don't have luck with juniors brands i can't imagine getting more than like seven bucks for that and that's just not worth my time i even got it in two sizes y'all i saw the new with tags and i just couldn't help myself but this was back in the day and as you can see i've never listed them i guess i realized the foolishness of what i did early on arizona jeans company again another like juniors brand this is i think it's a crop top it's just juniors I, yeah i just i i'm not dealing with it this is i don't know i don't know about these the brand is sunday i want to say that this is dress born they're just leggings they are super cute has that little detail on the back um but again, just a really low profit item for me. Like I can't do anything with that. This, I don't know. Well, that I got for myself and then decided not to list it. Um, this is Adriana Papel, which is a nice brand. It has the heart print on it. I was gonna try to hold on to this until around Valentine's Day, but I noticed that it had like some pilling, some pilling on the front. So as you'll see, there's a general theme here. Like I would, I would only list this for $15 anyway, but then when, you, when, if it was in perfect condition, but then when you add in like the pilling or the, it's, it's stretched out or whatever, like that lowers the value to less than what I'm willing to mess around with. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. Why did I get this? It was cute. I mean, I guess it was cute. I thought it was cute. This is an actual like Asian style some it's like an asian style sateen dress i thought it was super cute and it is cute and i feel like i i could have sold it and i probably could sell it around halloween time if i held on to it a little longer but i've already had it for a year i had it listed on poshmark and ebay nothing no interest at all and i feel like the market on these it's just oversaturated like um there are wholesalers who actually have stores that just sell this type of asian attire um dresses and they sell them for like 10 or 15 bucks so like i can't compete with that really what else do we have here that we are getting rid of um i brought this to resell and i just think overall <laughs> I mean, it's cute. It is cute. Don't get me wrong. This is Hollister. It's a black dress with the sequins. I did think it was cute and I feel like I would have posted it for like 15 bucks, but it's missing some of the beads and stuff. It looks like damage. I just, as you can see, the recurring theme here is that I don't mess, mess with the damaged items. And honestly, I would have been lucky to even get $15 for that. If I'm being honest, um, I would have been lucky to get $15 for that one. Um, on a good day so even if it was in great condition i probably wasn't going to get a bunch of money for it um this is just something else another hollister size medium it's like a romper i mean she's cute she, she, i guess i guess i could have gotten maybe 12 bucks for this but she doesn't have any like I can tell that it has buttons there. So she was supposed to have straps with her and she doesn't have the straps. So I feel like that lowers the value to less than what I'm comfortable investing my time in. I just don't want to deal. I'm kind of rethinking these now. These were in the bag to give away. So I had three of these, right? And they were all listed separately. They are Lane Bryant size 14, 16. So Lane Bryant is not a great seller to begin with. But then when you get into the lower sizes, the 14s, the 16s, the 18s, very hard to sell. So I tried multiple strategies. I had these listed alone and then I put them all into a grouping. Then I went back, like I put them in a lot of three of them because I had three of them. It was the green one, this purple one, and a blue one. So I put them all into like a bundle and tried to price it low. And then I started from scratch again and listed them all separately, still nothing. But surprisingly, I did sell the blue one um, about a month ago after like a year and a half of having them. And I had like relisted these recently and I did get some likes on it. So these Lane Bryant's... Uh, Maybe I'll hold on to them for a little longer, but I can kind of tell that it's it's not going to go well. <laughs> it's just not going to go well. Um, What else? Just Ann Taylor. This is like a, what is this? It's Ann Taylor. I don't know. Maybe I should list this. 
I mean, it's not like it's loft. It's not factory. It is Ann Taylor. I just can't, it's a basic blouse. I just can't imagine getting more than like 12 bucks for this. And I will take $12 for an item if, if I've had it listed for a while, if it doesn't sell after a few months, then sure, I will lower the price to $10 or $12 to get it out of my face. But actually taking the time to create a whole new listing on something that I know I'm only going to list for like $12, uh, sometimes I think twice about it and I'm like, I really don't want to do that. Uh, maybe, 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 slight possibility I'll keep her um, and try to list her. I'm uh, I guess. I, I don't know. Don't know why I got this. Why did I get this, y'all? I don't know. Emma and Olive. It's just a basic blue shirt, blouse. Um, I mean, she's a size small. I don't really mess with small. What am I going to get? $10 for this? Am I really going to take pictures of this and try to sell it and hold on to it for months for like a $6 profit? No, no thanks. I'm good, actually. Don't need it. Don't want it. All right, what else do we have here? Y'all, I honestly don't know what I was thinking with some of this stuff. I'm like, girl, what? Like, what? <laughs> like, what were you thinking? I don't know. Maybe y'all will disagree with me. But Jake, I mean, they're J. Crew. It's a smaller size. They're just some real basic shorts. I mean, there, there's like a million of these. There's there has to be a million of these on eBay already. You know, what, what am I going to have to price these at to make it worth the time of ironing them, taking pictures? Um, I think it's going to be a pass for me. Don't, don't want to deal with that at all. I mean, I had the best intentions when I got this stuff. I was going to put it like in a bundle. Correction, I brought them all individually because I thought I was going to sell them. And then afterwards when I got them, I'm like, oh, well, they're not going for much. Maybe I can put them in a bundle. And at this point, I don't want to be bothered with it. These are like Old Navy, just Old Navy, like gym, gym capris, size medium. I could put them in a bundle, but who's going to want hot pink and gray? You know, generally people who like pink, they like bright colors and people who like gray, like grays and blacks and browns and neutrals, stuff like that. So are they really going to, like, are they really going to buy that? Even if I put it in a lot. Another note, this is no name brand, gym attire. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not wasting my time with it. So sorry, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Y'all know y'all done brought some stuff like this too. I don't know what I was thinking with this one. Um, rewind brand. It's a junior's brand. It's cold shoulder. I cannot sell cold shoulder. Cold shoulder is out. It's done. Okay. It's over. Um, I don't think I have sold a cold shoulder and cold shoulder is when obviously like this, the sleeve goes like this and you can see the shoulder. I don't think I have sold a cold shoulder like shirt in a while. It's not ugly. She has the tag. She's a medium, but she sat and she sat and she sat on Poshmark and eBay with zero interest. Nobody wants her. You got to cut your losses sometimes. Old Navy. Now I sell Old Navy all the time, you know? There's, there's nothing wrong with Old Navy, but you got to look at the style, people. It's a size small. I mean, there's a million size small Old Navy shirts. It's cotton. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, she's cotton. She's, she's, she has tags on her. Um, just couldn't get her to sell. I, I don't know. <laughs> Now that I'm taking it out of that bag, I'm feeling tempted to like take more pictures and try her again, but we'll see. I guess if I run out of inventory and I have time, I'll do that. I'm, I don't even want to get into this. I'm really embarrassed that I even brought this time and true to basic peplum. First of all, peplum is like not in style anymore. She doesn't have tags on her. Um... <laughs> She's a size small. She has nothing going for her. Now, I have sold Time and True before in the past. It's not the brand that's the problem. It's the style. It's the size. Like, why did you do it? Oh, man. Uh, going through this bag. Bad memories. Now, this one here is surprising. And you may disagree with this. And I'm surprised to see this in my bag because I had forgotten about this. These are Talbot's. 
They're size two. They have the tags on them. They went for $89, your basic black pant. Now, I had this listed for like two years, probably over two years, no interest, no likes, no offers, no questions, nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Um, and I just, I, I, I don't know, you tell me, why do you think these didn't sell? It's the modern fit. I tried and I tried and I tried and I lowered the price. I think at my lowest, I had them at $15, nothing, crickets. Um, size two is a hard, the only thing I can think of is that size two is a hard sell. And these are also more of a boot cut legging, a boot cut pants. So maybe that's just not in style. Whatever the case may be, these just did, they did nothing for me. Like nobody wanted them. So we have to let her go to make room. <laughs> I know you're going to laugh at me. I'm laughing at myself. LuLaRoe. Now, don't get me wrong. I have sold LuLaRoe in the past, but it's just saturated. We all know that it's saturated at this point. It's a Mickey Mouse print. I think she's kind of cute, but never got any interest on it. There's just entirely the reason this didn't sell, I think, is just entirely too much competition. Too much competition, people. Now, personally, I don't get scared of competition at all. Um... Uh, I I remember me buying this. This is Mosimo size small. I just I can't sell small. It's a basic green shirt. It does have the tags on it. I remember when I brought this. I brought it from a friend's yard sale, and I only brought it because I felt like awkward and guilty because I wanted to support her, but she didn't have anything that I wanted there. So I saw this and I was like, "Oh, let me buy it to support her." And I paid like two. Three dollars. Three dollars I paid for this. I'm so irked. Um, yeah, I can't do anything with that. That's not gonna sell. <laughs> Ever, probably. Well, I'm lying. It would sell if I put it up for five dollars, but I'm not here to lose money. So well, I'm gonna lose money anyway. American Eagle Outfitter, size small. I think this is super cute. I love her. She's embroidered. I'm a sucker for embroidery. Just a basic tank. Had it listed for like two years, crickets, nothing. American Eagle. So I just kind of want you to just think twice before buying some of these brands and styles. Collective Concepts, I think this used to be a decent brand and I think that she is super cute. She's a summer top, she's nice. It's a size small. I just have a really difficult time selling size small. Now again, you may be looking at this and saying, oh yeah, I could sell that all day. You're right, you probably could sell it at a price that you're comfortable with. I'm sure if I put this up there for like 10 bucks, eight bucks, it, it probably would sell. I'm just not willing anymore to hold on to items that are that low. And I had it listed for a long time. I thought she was really pretty. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Dahlia, I don't know what type of brand this is. It ain't nothing great. Uh, she has tags on her. She's a decent size. She's a straight leg. She's size 10, um, straight leg pant. It's like a work career pant, nothing, ever. I couldn't sell this to save my life. It just it just sat and sat and sat. Not worth it for me. I just laugh at myself sometimes when I look at some of this stuff that I was buying. <laughs> I really thought I had something with this one. This is that So brand that we were talking about earlier from Kohl's. It's a skirt, the, the size is good. She's an extra large. So I thought she had that going for herself. She's cotton. We love cotton. She has the embroidery on the bottom. I'm a sucker for embroidery. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with this? I don't know. But all I know is that she sat for two years and nobody wanted her. So I'm sick of holding on to her at this point. This one, you'll probably debate with me. You probably don't agree. She's J. Jill. She's linen. She's an extra small and like extra small is super hard for me to sell. And when I looked, um, she did have a tiny little spot on her. So extra small is already really difficult for me to sell. Um, and I just don't want to be bothered if it has a spot on it. LuLaRoe. <laughs> you know, you've brought LuLaRoe before, before. Size small. It is a basic type of shirt I definitely thought this would sell but nobody wanted it real basic so I don't I don't want to get too long-winded we're at 20 minutes um if you like this type of video and you want to see more of this type of video I will be happy 
to make more videos like this but i don't know if this is your your type of thing that you'll watch so i'm not going to make it too long-winded i just i'm hoping that you will look at these things and that you will pass them by um at yard sales if if you want to make a halfway decent product if uh profit if you're okay with making two or three dollars perfectly fine pick up whatever you want to but if you buy stuff like this shorts with no name brand the brand is tinsel town it's a juniors if you buy stuff like this you're probably going to be sitting on it for a long time and i just don't have the time or patience anymore for this type of stuff charlotte russ why why Ange? it is a larger size it's a basic top i can't get more than probably eight bucks for that nobody ever wanted it this is a workout top. A, a lot of YouTubers say, oh, workout, workout stuff sells. Workout stuff doesn't sell all that good for me. And then this is like a Target brand. There's a bunch of them listed. Couldn't do anything with it. This is Old Navy. I think this had, this is actually cute, I think. But it did have, first of all, it's a medium. Not the best size. And I think it had like a little spot on the front. And like this would only go for $12, you know, if it was in perfect condition. So it's just not something that I'm going to spend a lot of time listing and relisting and things of that nature. Why did I get this? This is a size small, some type of weird Jerry Lee brand. Never heard of it. It's like a small or extra small. It has a wolf on it. It's like a junior's brand. Um, It does have ties on the side. You know, if I held on to it, everything will sell, okay? So so all of these things, if I kept them listed for a long time, if I was willing to hold on to them for a few more months or years, then yeah, may, I mean, it's not to say that these would never sell. You just have to decide, you know, like how long you want to sit on things and, and what type of profit is good for you. Um, so that was just a small sampling. We're already at 20 minutes. I'm not going to get too long-winded with this. But if you like this type of video, let me know. I'm sitting here looking at all these items. And if I paid an I paid a dollar for each of these items, probably it looks to be about 50 pieces, right? So if you do the math, I mean, I pretty much wasted, I wasted $50 on these items. Um, hopefully I can sell them at a yard sale or on that online group I was telling you about. Hopefully I can sell some of this stuff and get some of my money back. So in my other videos, you know, I, I may have told you don't spend too much time at yard sales comping things out. Time is money. And in, in my case, that's true. Like I don't really have time sometimes to be looking through items and and checking the values of everything. Sometimes if it's just a dollar, I go for it. But here you can see how that can get you in trouble because even though, oh, it's just a dollar, it's just a dollar, I can grab it, no big deal. Yeah, but if you're buying 50 items at a dollar each and they're not selling, then you've actually, you didn't lose a dollar, you lost $50. And I have given away so much stuff in the past few months because I'm really trying to refine my store. And when I say refine, I'm not like, oh, I'm going to only sell like items over $50. I'm not there yet, but I have just changed the minimum of amount of money that I'm willing to make on an item. I really don't want to sell anything for less than $13. I just don't. Nothing under $13 unless, of course, it's clearance and I'm just trying to get rid of it. So with me changing it to where I don't want to make less than, um, I don't want to sell something for less than $13, um, I just can't be bothered with this stuff. And now, you know... It actually looks like it's more like 70 items. So that's like 50 or $70 that I just wasted. So at this point, when you have stuff like this, you don't want to lose money. And you might be saying, oh, I don't want to give this stuff away. I spent $50 on it. I can't just give that stuff away. And I used to feel that way, but I'm kind of changing my mindset now because I say to myself, if I can just sell this stuff for a dollar, which is what I paid for it, you know, no harm, no foul. I learned my lesson and I can use that dollar that I'm making off of these bad buys to now buy better things now that I have more knowledge and I know what I'm doing. I know what to spend my dollar on now. So I can, it's not a total loss, right? And don't get me wrong, sometimes I sometimes I don't get my dollar back. I've donated so many bags to like church thrift stores. I don't donate to Goodwill really unless, you know, I can't find anywhere else. I really do try to donate my items to like local churches or people in need, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I've taken plenty of losses, hundreds of dollars, and I'm just, I'm hoping that I'm getting better now to where that won't be an issue in the future, okay? So hopefully you learned some things here. Don't buy cold shoulder cold shoulder dresses, cold shoulder shirts, just stop, okay? Because <laughs> you're going to lose money. But y'all have a good one.